Every morning at 7.05, the alarm clock rings right on time, bounces off the table, and takes aim at Pongo's head. He jolts awake, realizing he has to rush to catch up with his busy day. Pongo first goes to the bathroom to prepare the shower water. Afterward, he walks towards his owner, Roger, and playfully snatches the covers off him. Pongo usually wakes Roger up by licking his face, but sometimes he has to resort to barking to alert him. And this is not finished yet. Pongo has to make coffee and finally opens the front door to fetch Roger's milk. For the last eight years, Pongo has been taking good care of his useless owner, Roger. Roger is 30 years old and has been single forever. He works as a video game developer from home. He is a hardworking man, but unfortunately, he hasn't sold a single piece of his games to this day. On this day, like usual, Roger takes Pongo with him to sell his video games. Pongo patiently awaits outside, but once again, Roger fails to make a sale. He tells Pongo that if he can ever successfully sell one, they will be able to get a car. Suddenly, Pongo comes across another female dog who looks exactly like him. He becomes super excited, just like Roger, who has also been single since birth. Pongo starts chasing after the dog, not realizing that his leash is still tied to Roger's bike. Pongo continues to roam crazily in the streets, paying no heed to his owner's attempts to slow him down. Roger desperately tries to match Pongo's speed but ends up breaking his bike brake, causing chaos on every block they traverse. Finally, in a dramatic turn of events, Roger is thrown into the nearby lake, leaving him soaking wet and bewildered. However, the dog doesn't care a bit as he already breaks free and hurries to catch up with his crush. Pongo runs all the way to a park and meets the female dog with her owner, who is named Anita. Pongo plays cute to catch Anita's attention, and the woman instantly becomes fond of him. Meanwhile, Roger gets out of the lake, biking his broken bike to search for Pongo. He arrives at the park, enraged to see his dog play with a stranger. Without hesitation, he takes the leash, angrily walks toward the dog, and ties him, ready to return home. However, Anita yells at him to leave the dog alone, thinking that he's somehow a kidnapper. Roger insists but ends up getting smashed in the head with Anita's back, which contains three solid bricks inside. Confused, Roger checks on the dog, realizing she's a girl, and his good boy Pongo looks embarrassed. Roger apologizes to Anita and thanks her for hitting his head. Anita playfully mocks him for being foolish enough to get soaked in a lake. After a funny and embarrassing encounter, they bid farewell to each other. However, Anita doesn't realize that her dog also falls for Pongo. The female dog can't bear being separated from her newfound love. Therefore, in the upcoming chase, Anita and her bike also end up being thrown into the lake. Roger saves Anita and brings her home for rest. Apparently, their two dogs have achieved the goal of being able to stick together. Upon seeing that, Roger proposes to Anita, asking if she's willing to marry him. A few days later, their wedding is held at a local church. Apart from that, Pongo is also officially married to his love, with all the city dogs outside the church witnessing his happy moment. The family starts their new life together, with Roger continuing to work on his video games at home while Anita works as a fashion designer at a well-known company called Devil. Anita's boss, Deville, is a notorious woman who loves wearing all kinds of luxury clothing made of animal furs at all costs. Despite the government announcing several crackdowns on fur dealing and trying to find out who the mastermind behind them is, Deville thinks she can cover her crimes by throwing money around. One day when Deville comes across Anita's new clothing design that's inspired by her Dalmatian dog, she immediately becomes interested in it. She asks Anita whether the dog has long hair or short hair and whether the fur is coarse or fine. Anita tells her that the adult dogs have quite coarse fur, but the newborn ones are very soft. Upon hearing that, Deville becomes thrilled, but Anita hasn't grasped any bit of her boss's intention. Time passes, and Anita's dog is soon pregnant with Pongo's puppies. Unexpectedly, Anita also becomes pregnant at the same time, which makes the whole family even happier. Often, the females go for pregnancy checkups while the men patiently wait outside the clinic. Later when they return home, the couple is surprised to see Deville sitting in their house, looking excited. She doesn't reveal her purpose for being there but tells the couple to keep her updated about the upcoming newborn puppies. In the evening, both Roger and Pongo wait anxiously in the living room because Pongo's wife will soon give birth. Soon, the good news arrives, 15 puppies are successfully delivered. Pongo is excited and heads toward his wife, gently petting her to rest. The whole family is overjoyed, but no one notices that Deville has sent two men to secretly watch over them outside their house and report how many puppies are being delivered. Suddenly, Deville breaks into the house, declaring she wants the puppies right away. The couple informs her that the puppies are too small and can't be separated from their mother. However, Deville writes a 7,500 pounds check and demands the sale. As expected, she is firmly rejected and gets kicked out of the house. Two months later, the puppies are growing bigger, and they start being given names and all, but their happy life doesn't last long. One night, two henchmen of Deville secretly stand by outside, waiting for the couple to take Pongo and his wife out for a walk. 
Once they leave, the two men break into their house and lock Anita's mother in a storage room, catching all the puppies in a gunny sack. Before they drive away, a passing bulldog barks fiercely at them, but the men scornfully look at him, thinking all dogs are no-brainers. Pongo hears the distant barking, sensing his puppies might be in danger. He hastily runs back home, only to find their cubs really gone. Pongo's wife becomes too sad, and he sits quietly next to her, not knowing what to do with the sudden incident. The family calls the police but is worried sick that in such a big city, there is no way to find 15 missing puppies. Upon hearing it, Pongo figures out he has to do something. He rushes outside the window, barking at the air continuously. In no time, distant barkings from all directions ensue. All dogs that are in every corner of the city hear his calling for help. Other animals, including sheep, ponies, squirrels, birds, etc., all join together for an upcoming rescue. On the other hand, the henchman of Deville calls her, informing her that he's got the puppies. Deville is thrilled to hear the news, as together with Pongo's puppies, there will be 101 dogs in total, and she can soon rip off their fur to make her that unique Dalmatian coat. The henchmen then drive toward a remotely located abandoned house, however, unbeknownst to them, their trail is followed by a dog who happens to hear the puppies whimpering. On the way, the dog stops at a barn where there are many cows, sheep, and pigs, asking them to get ready for the next move. Shortly after, all animals team up for a relay run, passing every piece of information to one another. The dog follows the men to the house, secretly observing what they are going to do next. He then sniffs around, finally discovering where all the puppies are locked. Though he knows where the cubs are, the dog can't find a way to get in. Just then, a squirrel chitters, hinting to him that he can get through the ventilation duct. After successfully getting in, the dog is shocked to see there is actually a crowd of Dalmatian dogs being trapped, which is more than 100. Meanwhile, Deville is alerted that the police have discovered her involvement in the illegal animal furs trade. She quickly calls the man who is going to operate on the puppies to hurry before the police catch her. She orders the man to harm them in any way, whether it be bashing them on the head, using poison, or drowning. Feeling the urgency, Pongo and his wife follow the hint given by a bird and steadily head toward the house where the puppies are held captive. On the other side, a brave dog quietly crawls toward and knocks on the door, distracting the men's attention. This distraction buys another dog extra time, and he is able to help the puppies escape. When the men find out about the escape, it's already too late but they suddenly spot a little puppy that's left behind and begin to chase after it. Chaos ensues, and the clever puppy outsmarts the two men, resulting in one of them being severely injured and the other falling into the icy water and getting frozen. Deville arrives at the house, and upon seeing her two henchmen fail the mission, she becomes enraged, determined to catch the puppies herself. She starts searching around the area. Shortly after, she spots a pack of dog footprints, but surprisingly there are no puppies around, so she drives off. Little does she know that all the puppies have been hiding under the sheep pack, being kept safe and out of her sight. Following the trail, Pongo and his wife arrive at the abandoned house. They are overjoyed to see their cubs safe at a barn with the help of all their animal friends. Outside, a raven snatches Deville's hat and leads her to the barn. She cautiously enters, holding a rake in her hand, ready to attack. Little does she know that all the adult animals have ambushed inside the barn and are determined to take her down. The evil woman ends up being pinned down by a pig and stumbling into a fecal pond. Shortly after, the police arrive and expose her illegal fur trade crime. They apprehend her along with the other three henchmen. Everyone gathers together to rescue the puppies, but they are all surprised to find out the number of puppies is much larger than they thought. The police escort them to Roger's house and inform him that if the rest of the puppies can't find homes in the next few days, they will have to be put down. Realizing the gravity of the situation, Pongo pleads with Anita and Roger to keep all the puppies. Unable to resist, the couple decides to take them all in. It turns out Roger also successfully sells his first ever video game, which is inspired by the story between his Dalmatian dog family and DeVille. In the end, the whole family moves into a much larger house, and together they live happily ever after. If you like my channel or enjoy watching me dance, please leave a comment in the comment section saying dance. Adam